Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got Redmi Note 10 and I have nothing. I mean to say I have nothing OS on the Redmi Note 10. I have already uploaded a video, the review video of this ROM, how the ROM is working on the Redmi Note 10. Basically, this is nothing OS 2.5.3, Android 14 and the Android security update is 1st Feb 2024. Now, if you want to know how this ROM is performing on the Redmi Note 10, and what are the features that we are getting with the ROM then you need to watch that video link provided in my video description must watch that video then decide either you want to flash this ROM or not well the nothing phone is not available in every country but still if you want to use the nothing OS then you need to unlock the bootloader of your Redmi Note 10 in case if you have a Redmi Note 10 mobile phone after unlocking the bootloader very simple method to follow to flash the ROM on the Redmi Note 10 enjoy the nothing OS Android 14 on your Redmi Note 10. Starting the flashing tutorial video how to flash the Nothing OS on the Redmi Note 10 before going ahead. If you are taking help and if you are helping yourself by watching my these videos then do not forget to subscribe my channel. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to share the video and to also click or tap the bell icon. Click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. I really appreciate those who already did that and those who just did that. So here is my download folder i have downloaded all the files and i have provided all the links in my video description you just click the links and download all the files in the on your computer hard drive well this is the firmware that we have to flash with the rom then the nothing operating system will work first of all extract the firmware file then extract the rom file and then extract the platform tools file and the nothing operating system rom is coming default rooted first of all open the extracted folder of the rom file right so we are having flashing files over here so the mobile phone must be once updated to android 12 in case if you are having any custom rom but your phone was updated once to android 12 then doesn't matter the rom will get flash but in case if your phone is not having Android 12 then do not try to flash because the rom may not boot but the mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked if your set bootloader is not unlocked then you need to watch the tutorial video link provided in my video description unlock the bootloader then uh, follow the further step must check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum and you have to save all the internal storage data this procedure and uh, uh, flashing a custom ROM will always uh, format everything so must save all the internal storage data in case if you are uh, using Xiaomi account then sync your account once and must remove it same way go to account sync sync your Google account once and remove it and then go to password security and turn off the screen lock then simply boot the mobile phone into order the fast boot mode then tap reboot and tap reboot then hold the volume down key press press and hold it press just wait the set will boot into fast boot mode then immediately release the volume down key we got the fast boot screen and must check the other side of cable connected with the computer now connect the data cable with the uh, mobile phone and uh, set is booted into fast boot mode connected with the computer coming back towards the computer screen and double click the windows fast boot first install with data format do not go for the last file double click the batch file this one double click and the command window will get open press y on the keyboard then press enter key the flashing will start it it will take a time now all we have to do is to wait After flashing gets completed, the mobile phone will automatically reboot and uh, the mobile phone will once again boot into fast boot mode. Well, you can see automatically the phone gets booted into fast boot mode because we have to do one more thing. We'll go back to my downloaded folder and this time I will open the extracted folder of the firmware. And we'll double click the Windows Fast Boot Flasher file. Same thing will start it. The flashing will get started. 
and we have to wait here now once again and uh, same thing will happen once again the mobile phone will auto reboot and uh, again it will reboot into fast boot mode just wait for it yes we got the fast boot screen once again now we'll go back to my downloaded folder and one last step we have to do is to open the extracted folder of the platform tools then right click on the cmd file left click and run as administrator click yes on next window the command window will open once again now here i have provided a command in my description just simple copy the command from there and then come to the command window paste the command on the command window press enter key done then type fast boot space reboot press enter key immediately press and hold the volume up key to let the set boot into re custom recovery this nothing operating system is coming with the recovery also and the recovery will get auto flash when the rom get flash so the pixel experience recovery is on the mobile phone now on this recovery screen tap factory reset then tap format data tap format data done go back and tap reboot system now and i can close the command window and uh, i will go back to my downloaded folder now all we have to do is to wait the mobile phone will start booting very soon to the nothing operating system and the first boot will take a little long time well, you can see that the uh, booting started i will just disconnect the cable from the mobile phone for a while and i will wait now you will get a message android system there is an internal problem with your device so don't worry about it doesn't matter just tap ok and we got the setup screen complete the setup screen now Finally, we got the screen of the Nothing OS on the Redmi Note 10. Mouth phone, same, Nothing OS 2.5.3. If you want, you can change the device name. I will change. And uh, we are uh, having Android 14. Nothing OS, Android 14. Now, connect uh, internet on the mobile phone. I will copy the magis file from the computer to my internal storage of my mobile phone. So here we go. I have provided a link also in my video description. You need to download the magis file also and also the play integrity fix. We will copy these both files from the downloaded folder and we'll go to my internal storage of my mobile phone. Both files on the internal storage. We got the files. Disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Unlocking the screen, we'll go to open the file manager, files, internal storage, scroll down, first install the images file, settings, give for permission, the app wasn't installed, again try it, install, and now it is started to getting installed, images was installed, open, allow images to send you a notification, allow, Requires additional setup. Your device needs to reflash magis to work properly. Please reinstall the magis tab. Cancel. I will update the magis here. You can see the update. Then tap update and tap direct install recommended. Let's go. And then reboot when it is done. Tap OK. Locking the screen. So we got the magis file here. I will tap to open the magis uh, application and finally we got the modules over here and uh, we'll go to home then we'll tap settings and scroll down we got the zyges over here also turn it on then go back and go to modules and tap uh, install from the storage tap the recent select the redmi note 10 change the view scroll down and start uh, select the play integrity fix file tap ok to let install uh, mobile phone install it done then tap reboot Well, all the things got done. Once again, I will open the Magis application. 
to check the things i will go to modules when the play integrity file is fixed file is working perfectly there is no red lines and uh, now all you have to do is to go log in your gmail account first your internet must be connected with on the mobile phone then log in your gmail account then go to apps then tap see all 34 apps so tap three dots tap show system search for p l a y first select the google play store then tap storage and cache tap clear storage delete done go back and go back this time again search for p l a y select the google play services and uh, tap storage and cache then tap clear storage then tap clear all data delete and we are done now you can simply open the google play store the google play store will start updating and when it gets updated then you will check the device will be certified and if you check the safety net it will show passed. so we got the uh, nothing operating system on the redmi note 10 having a device certified set is rooted also and i have shown the trick in my review video how to uh, run the banking application in case if you are uh, any particular banking application is not running with the rooted mobile phone check out that video also do not forget to like the video do not forget to share it with others thank you so much and take a good care of yourself we'll see you in my next video until then bye bye